Hello, it's me, Miss Callie G, or Joseph Crepper, whatever you wanna call me, I don't know. I'm taking off my glasses once again because the ring light be harsh. I got these uh, cleaned today um, and they're already dirty again. Yes, I have drawn on my eyebrows today. Did shave my entire eyebrow off for lovebirds so I could be divine in that pink flamingo dress. And now I'm trying to figure out how to make something that looks kind of normal. Uh. Today is a week after reading time. I have three weeks to get this next outfit done. Um, we are going to be doing an under the sea theme. It's gonna be called Just Keep Swimming. And yes, I took a trip to Joanne just kind of on a whim with Mr. Rowan, my good friend. <laughs> Check it. Uh, hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks for coming and checking out my clownfish church woman haul. <laughs> uh, we're hitting up the Joanne, but before we do that, uh, wait, make sure you smash that like button, <laughs> press that bell to get all the notifications. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Oh God, now you're seeing my terrible eyebrows. Uh, say hey. Hi. We found some orange fabric. It's not really quite the same color, but. Basically, this orange fabric that I already had was left over from my dress that I did for Halloween, which you can see right here. It was a little bit big because this fabric is really stretchy, um, but I had a whole bunch of it left and my thing is like, let's try and reuse as much as I can. There's not enough here for a skirt portion and I don't want to use it for the bodice because it, that was the problem with this in the first place is that it made everything so stretchy and big that um, it was kind of it was kind of a weird fit. So I will be using this fabric again, but not for this. Instead, I went to Joanne and got a 45 inch width orange cotton. Not for garments, but yet again, here I am doing things that I shouldn't. So here's the thing, if you're not gonna make me what I need for apparel stuff, I'm just gonna have to get it from the Joanne in another section, and that's just what it's gonna be. Today we are going to be making, or at least attempting to, a clownfish inspired dress, where I look like a church lady, like that stereotype of like a church lady, like a big hat and things. So I'm not going to be making this out, I actually just ordered one online that I am going to be making the dress though, and what we're starting with is this orange fabric. Clownfish, they're very cool. They have the the stripes on them. I think it'd be really interesting if you took the clownfish like this and did it like this, going to basically be flipping a clownfish so it's like this instead of this, like this, making that into a dress. The pattern we're going to be using is one that I've used a couple times before. I made one dress you haven't seen yet and then famously my donut dress, which I love. It's out of this pattern. This is a Simplicity S8945. What we're gonna be doing is the C version. The C, cause it's a clown, okay. We're gonna be doing the C version. You see it has a little tie there in the front. We're getting rid of that. But um, I don't want any, uh, any sleeves or anything like that. So we're just gonna do non-sleeveless a skirt like this, a kind of like a circle skirt kind of. So let's get into that journey, shall we? Hopefully this doesn't go badly. You've seen me do this before. I'm just taking the fabric and cutting it out. There are only six pieces that I'm using in this dress pattern. The shaping of the dress skirt at the bottom will come once I have that all sewn together so everything lines up correctly.
Hi. So, this is the part that I've been a little bit nervous about. Well, I'm nervous about the painting. Uh, as you see, I've just been sewing up a storm. You've seen me do this before. It's just me sewing. And like I said, this has so few pieces that it's just like, let's just get the thing done. But now I'm to the point where I am deviating from the pattern from <laughs> quite a large way because I'm going to be cutting off the bottom of the skirt. I don't really have a lot of room for error. And my plan of attack is just to make sure everything is symmetrical and just take my time with it and trace it out. I want the sides and the front and the back to have like the dip that goes down. So that's that's my goal. And I think what I'm gonna do, I have it laid out like this. And so I want like the, the dip to come. No, that's not right. I don't know if I need to like fold it over this way or if I need to just like freehand it for two sides. Things to consider. Um, but yeah, watch me do this and hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay, so yeah, this is what I've done today. I basically got the entire dress together. I still have to do some stitching on the neck hole. There's some facing for that, but I got the arms holes done. Oh, uh, and I still have to hem the bottom. It's given me the waves of the ocean. It's given me the fins of a clownfish. You know, it's, it's not just like a circle skirt. So that's nice. That being said, I still need to hem her. I think I'm going to need to paint her on this. I'm gonna need to cover my mannequin with some plastic so I don't get any paint on this nice, blue velvet thing. But I think it's giving me like a church woman vibe, right? Here's the facts. Church women, they're all different. Don't you forget it, okay? And they're all my best friends. Hello, it's a no eyebrow day. Um, <clears throat> I have a thing later today where I'm presenting on drag history. You might have remembered if you watched my last vlog that my trusty mini tripod broke. So I bought 
A new one! Do, 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 do. This one does not grasp around different things, but it does have a light, so that's cool. So that's where <clears throat> you're gonna live from now on. Also, in that same package, I got this wig. I really like how it tapers off at the end. I like how it's wavy. I think that I could probably leave it like this, but I have just a fascination with curling wigs right now and making them very voluminous. And um, I think that that would match this aesthetic a lot. So we'll, we'll see what's going on with that. And I also, I was very excited for this item. It, here's a hat and you know, it has some nice features. Look at this, you know, all this little thing. Okay, they literally took this side, folded it over and shoved it into an envelope. And because of that, it's quite effed up. What I'm hoping I can do is just put on a light setting on my iron and get this to flatten out. And then also pop this section out so it actually stays nice and formed and things. I don't know. Hi, it's a new day. I've been sewing. I got new glasses. I have amazing nails. I've been doing a lot of things this past week and it's finally Saturday and so I got the collar all the way sewn on. You're gonna, I'm gonna show you up close before I start painting this. Um, it, oh, it, you know, it doesn't look too bad from the front. From the back, it's, it's a hot mess. <laughs> And I know this about this pattern, the, the collar part doesn't really like to bend very well. So you have to tack it down at the shoulders or if it else it starts popping up, all kinds of business about that. There's a whole bunch of just that going on, even from the front, like, yeah. Not super cute, but it does give the silhouette, you know, it, it, it's a nice, it's an interesting vibe. I like this, it kind of reminds me of Finn's. So there's some curving there that I think will be complemented nicely. And I think the silhouette works for the church lady aesthetic. And yeah, so the next thing that we have to do on this dress is start painting it, which means I need to cover this bad lady <laughs> and some plastic so I don't ruin her because she's only a couple months old. I'm getting ready to start dressing the, or paint, excuse me, painting the dress. I have this soft matte paint. This is fabric paint that I got from Joanne. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with the white and block out all the places that I want the white to be. You can see that the mid section, this um, curved section that comes up towards its head, this is the mid section. I'm gonna try and block out where I want everything to go for the white first. I'm probably going to trace everything out with chalk first. Wish me luck.
So I went to the store. I got a couple of things. Um, well, I went to Joanne first. As you can see here, they have the fabric paint, but they're in smaller bottles and they're like three or $4. Um, too much money, too much money for that little paint, especially when I have to do a second coat on this dress. I did get these little pom-poms so I was thinking I could use them as little accents on my hat, but I did have to go to Walmart, which I hate doing so much. They had one of these um, at the Walmart and then I was really smart and I looked into the back and I was able to like, grab some more from behind some of the red paints. It was a thing, but I have enough now and it was and this cost as much as one of those smaller bottles. I'm waiting for the paint to dry on this. I did a second coat. I probably am going to do a third one just because I'm still seeing a lot of orange peeking through. Trying to use old fabric for this. This is all completely new fabric, but you know, you have to do what you got to do. I had an idea about using some older fabric that I have that is actually harkening back to the last time I did an under the sea themed reading time. I was this jellyfish as you can see here, very beautiful, very wonderful, quite a few years ago, actually. You know, I tried to make this <laughs> jellyfish headpiece. It was pretty difficult. I think I did a good job at the time, but um, I have lugged it around through the years and just because of how it was built with all this wire, it's kind of a mess now. Not something I really feel like saving. I feel like I could probably make something similar better if I wanted to. But I have all this great fabric and I thought it'd be kind of cool if I took this and made it into a purse for this clownfish lady. And I also have this felt to give it some more structure that I used for a project a while ago. Started making a mock-up pattern. I don't usually do mock-ups. I've never done mock-ups actually. So this is like a purse shape and this is the jellyfish shape. I'm gonna try sewing this together, see if it works. And then if it doesn't, I don't know what I'll do. I love making little things because it usually doesn't take that long for me, especially if I'm only making one of them. But this has got to be up there on like my, <laughs> one of my favorite little accessories I've made. I'm sorry. I made the, um, the jellyfish headpiece so long ago and seeing kind of a nod to that. I don't know. The purse, it's a jellyfish purse and it's all out of stuff I've already had. I love it. This is the worst roller set I have ever seen in my entire life.
Let's keep going. I, I am here. I'm taking off my glasses. Uh, it's um, I'm a. Uh, it's Saturday. I don't believe that I've ever made gloves before. That I have this older orange fabric and this like uh, frilly, 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 frilly stuff. And I have a beautiful tutorial by James. This is a man's field. Um, who is a goddess among drag queens. I'll, I'll link the tutorial down below so that you can actually follow someone who knows what they're doing about this. Okay, hi, so I have gotten the hair. It's I, I need to do a little bit of work on the hair. I think I got it onto the wig head a little cockeyed, but we'll figure that out. I have the dress done. I have the gloves done. I have the hat done. I am just gonna be adding some extra accessories and then she's gonna be done. So the next time you see me, in 10 seconds, I'm gonna be a beautiful clown. Fish Church Lady, here we go! Yes, okay, so this is my outfit, and I am a clownfish woman. Okay, so yeah, so I have, this is my purse, this is my hat, and this is my beautiful pearls. Pearls, pearls! And I'm a clownfish church woman, and I would change absolutely nothing about this, and I'm beautiful. Oh, actually, the one thing I would change is that these gloves are already breaking, which I already showed you earlier. But yes, this is how I look. I am beautiful, I am amazing. This is also, do you wanna be in this? Come on, come on. Look at how beautiful Mr. Dixon looks. Woo! He has a, a crown, oh, amazing glitter beard, mustache. Is it just? Creatures of the sea. I'm a giant merman. It's beautiful. <laughs> what does Rowan say? Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Bye. <laughs>